Good morning. How are you today? I got new molds and I am so excited. I have the uh, the wine caddy and the two coaster set that I ordered off of Amazon. And I'm a wine drinker, so I'm pretty excited about these. Let me show you the colors that I have today. I have... So my micas today are all just paint, Petra, Petra Youngblood's line. I'll leave all the descriptions for everything that I can. I'm sorry, all the links in the description for everything that I can. This one is Navajo. So it's a, like a green blue teal color, very pretty. And then I have, this is a really light, delicate gold super nice. This is called Golden Beach and this came as a sample with the um, with the pigments that I ordered off of uh, her, et or her Etsy shop, her North American Etsy shop. Um, so I'm trying it today and I'm happy I gave it a shot because look at that, that's really pretty. And then I also have her Sparkle White which is the most beautiful glittery Sparkle, transparent white. It is just beautiful and I love it. And then I have some uh, Kino Gold Leaf Flakes. Not a lot. I'm a little gun shy with these now after my one set of coasters where I had to spend so much time trying to get them to lay flat. I'm sure that was just like my beginner abilities, not a reflection on gold leaf flakes. And then I am going to mix up some alcohol ink. Let me get that little flake out. No, let me leave it. Whatever. This is Tim Holtz Ranger alcohol ink in stream. And this I got from Michaels. And it will be a nice transparent blue-green as well. So those are my colors today. I'm going to do some random pouring. I don't think I'm going to try to do any um, particular pattern at all. I think I'm just going to go for a, a marbled look, hopefully. We'll see what it ends up like. And... I got a new mask. So I'm going to be wearing my mask and I'll put on some music. You can listen to if you choose to. If not, that's fine too. Put it on mute. I won't know and you won't hurt my feelings. And I will come and chat with you again um, before I pause this at the end of the video before the final results, if that all makes sense. Okay? <music>
done and then I realized I put my gold um, the golden beach off to the side so then I went back and added it in so there's a little bit more gold in there now than when I ended that last segment but that's okay I think it's rather pretty I'm hoping that this will kind of dry in a nice marbly effect um, resin moves around a lot as you as you probably know so it's not gonna look like this once it's done its initial cure. Um, I used pretty close to eight ounces. I took some water and filled up these molds last night when I received them just to see um, what volume it took and this takes four and these take two each. So I maybe mixed up like maybe eight and a half ounces just to be on the safe side because you always end up with stuff that's stuck in your cup or you drizzle it in the wrong spot or whatever um, but I see that it's not quite up to the edge on the caddy part and one of my coasters is more full than the other I'm not too concerned about that I like to go back and put a clear coat over top of everything anyway um, so I'm not I'm not concerned about that at all and when it's dry, it leaves a nice sharp edge along the surface that I can just pour the clear resin on and just push it up to that sharp edge and it doesn't overflow over the sides at all. So I don't have to worry about any other extra fussing around uh, with that. Yeah, so I will show these, I'll unmold these tomorrow. So I'll pick this video up again in another segment and show you how they look.
See you in a bit. Okay. Time to unmold. It has been 24 hours and they're nice and hard. When I got looking at them, yes, I had a peek at them last night before bed. I thought the Navajo pigments were beautiful and the ink was really nice, but they're pretty much the same color, so I was a little worried I wasn't going to get a lot of contrast happening. But it did give some pretty nice effects. The gold leaf is scattered throughout pretty nice. Oh, look at that, the backs even look pretty. Sometimes the back, or the underside is a little meh, not all that exciting, but I think these ones are just as pretty. Front and back, good deal. And just like the uh, triangular geode molds that I've been using, these are coming out really easy. Not a problem at all. Yeah, nice and sparkly. Lots of shimmer. I think I am going to go around with some gold leafing on these ones. I haven't been wanting to put any leafing on the other ones so far, but they're quite a bit darker with that nice edge around them. And these ones are a little bit lighter around the edge, so I might just put some gold on them to frame them a little nicer. Okay, how am I gonna get this one off? Interesting. I'm really excited about this one. Yeah, that turned out great. The sides are nice and smooth. Look like I have any bubbles in it. That's nice. And the sheen, the shimmer is very nice. Yep, very happy with these. I'm having a great time with this resin and pigments. There's just as much opportunity and options to be creative as there is with paint. So now I'm trying to balance my life between <laughs> this new resin <laughs> resin kick that I've been on and my painting as well. Thanks for hanging out. I hope you enjoyed my video. The links that um, that I can provide will be in the description below for the pigments and the resin and a further explanation of the colors that I'm using. Thanks for hanging out and have a good day. Bye.